Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to Tori Diaries. Today's video is about being black in Russia. And for the real ones, y'all know I actually made this video about five and a half years ago on my channel Tori Diaries. But instead of having separate channels, I want to bring my channel to living life. So if you guys want to know more about my life in Russia, everything about me, go to the playlist Tori Diaries and that's where you'll see everything on living life with the sharing. All right, let's get into today's video. So the first thing I want to talk about is when Russian people like to take pictures of me, but honestly, it has gotten better. So I'll give an example. In 2016, I remember I was in the airport and I only spoke a little bit of Russian at the time. Now I think my Russian has definitely progressed. I can hold a conversation, I listen well. So at the time, mind you, it was like my second time, first time in Russia, and I'm sitting by myself, traveling without the door um, to Russia, and um, this lady comes up to me and asks me in Russian, hi, do you speak Russian? And I say, yes, I only speak a little bit. What's, what's wrong? Like, how can I help you? And she's like, can I take a picture of you? And I was like, no. And she goes, can I take a picture with you? I say, no. And she goes, why, please? Um, you just, I've never seen someone like you before. I said, I understand, but I'm honestly so tired from the flight. Like, please, I was being very nice, very, very nice. She gets out her phone anyway and tries to take a picture of me. And mind you, I'm eating, I'm in sweats, my hair looks a mess. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Now I'm getting mad because I'm like, I said no and you're invading my space. And she kept getting closer and closer. So then I got a little nervous. I was like calling for door. I'm like, this lady's here, like just trying to get out of my space because it was really vacant at the airport and it was just me and her. So I finally like say something in Russia, like, to do deal is like, get away from me. Like so something like rude like that, right? And she ended up leaving. She, I think she snapped the photo anyway, but I was just so pissed because I said, no, like go somewhere. So fast forward to now, 2021, you guys know that Fedora and I moved to Russia and we've been here since May and now it's August and only about four people has asked me to take a photo with them, which is huge improvement because in 2016, every time I would go out, someone would snap a photo of me without asking or have the courage to come up to me and ask me and I would always say no. So in 2021, honestly, it has gotten so much better. I feel kind of like a sense of relief that I can go to the grocery store without worrying someone's gonna pull out their phone when I have like a bad day, a bad hair day, a bad wardrobe day, and I could just like live peacefully. So only three people have asked, three or four people have asked me and they all have been men. And um, this time in 2021, Fedora was getting his hair cut and I went outside to call my mom. And this guy comes up to me and goes with his kid, hi, can I take a picture of you in Russian? I was like, no. He was like, can I take a picture with you with my kid? I was like, no. He was like, but you don't understand, you're just so beautiful. And I was like, okay, but I don't wanna take a picture with you. Like, I don't know you, you're a grown ass man. <laughs> so it's been, it's been so many instances, but like, it's just one of them where I know Russian people don't see a lot of black people. So I try to be as nice as possible with turning them down, but it's so rude. Like, just don't ask me for a picture, please, because I'm just trying to blend in with everyone else, even though it's not possible. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to number two. Guys, you know, every time you come to Russia, in 2016, 2017, however many times, and now we're living here, the stairs have gotten worse, I think. <laughs> the stairs, literally, Russian stairs so hard. It's not even Russia. When I went to Italy, they stared. When I went everywhere. When they're staring at me, they're staring so hard where they'll run into something. They're staring so hard where grandmas break their neck staring like, oh my God, like who is that? And I actually recorded a grandma staring at me so hard that she almost fell over and that's in one of our vlogs. But guys, it's, it hasn't gotten better. Like at first in 2016, when I came here, I was like, what the F is wrong with people? Like, do I have something on my face? Did I not like wax my stash? Like what, what's going on? But Fedora, of course, is always reassuring me. Like they're staring at you because you're beautiful. They're staring at you because they've never seen anything like you. Curly hair, brown girl, yada, yada, etc. So also it's not as bad like now i've gotten used to the stairs of course because we live here i'm going to expect it i'm not complaining about it anymore 
but of course it gets annoying. So even though the stares are freaking annoying, Russian people, most Russian people that address me are nice. Um, usually I get like a strange one or a drunk head once a year, but it hasn't happened since we've been here since May and I'm so thankful. And when I talk about Russia, I'm talking about Moscow, St. Petersburg and Novosibirsk and the city that we're in right now is Novosibirsk. So usually when we're in Moscow or St. Petersburg, people will take pictures and um, stare, but they'll never come up to me. It's very rare just because it's a faster city. Um, it's kind of, I guess, rude. I think they know because they see more colors there to not ask a black person a lot of questions. But in Novosibirsk, where it's more, si it's basically Siberia, um, they see less colors. So I get more stares and more pictures if that makes sense. All right, let's move on to number three. A lot of you guys have been flying into my DMs. Girl, can I go to Russia? Is it safe for a black woman? Is it safe for a black male? Will I be okay in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Novosibirsk, Vladivostok, wherever you wanna travel? Would I be okay traveling there myself, by myself? And the question is yes, honestly. I always say learn a little bit of Russian, but Russia is so safe. I always say to people, sometimes I feel safer in Russia than America, and that's just because of the strict laws that they have with homeless people, um, drunk heads, like just people on the street in general. As you guys know, I'm from Los Angeles, and in Los Angeles, there's a lot of homeless people, and I wouldn't even walk home by myself after work because of the amount of homeless people and druggies on the street that have tried to talk to me or grab me, or just because I'm smaller, I wouldn't do that. But in Russia, I feel so safe. I walk home from the gym. I walk home from pretty much anywhere, the grocery store, by myself without Fedor, and I'm fine, I'm safe. And in 2016, when I was actually studying at Novosibirsk and Gul, Novosibirsk University, I would walk home every day after school by myself, and it was fine. Of course, I had anxiety the first two times because I'm like, is it really safe? Can somebody grab me? But, <clears throat> but in reality, I was safe. It's not really common, like nobody's gonna harm me here. And I realized that over time. So yes, Russia is definitely safe. And I would also say that regarding taxis or using the metro. So back then I didn't really use the metro, but now I'm starting to use the metro just because I'm here, just so I can fi figure out more ways to travel. And usually I walk, but I've recently been taking the metro and it's also safe. I just, I wouldn't take the metro if I was a newcomer because it's a little difficult if you're by yourself. If you don't, first of all, know Russian, know how to read Russian. Um, so it might be a little hard for you. So I would suggest maybe taking a taxi or walking because everything is taxi or walking distance. And it's so safe, guys. Like when I take a taxi by myself, I usually take the expensive taxi too. And you can look at one of our videos to see the difference between a regular taxi, which is like two dollars to American dollars, versus like five dollar taxi, which is more exquisite. They come, dri they drive to you in a suit. They just look more professional, and I feel more safer that I will be taken care of. I don't like taking the dollar taxis or the two dollar taxis because they drive crazy. It feels like I'm back in LA or New York. I feel like I'm gonna end up in a neck brace. So it, there's also a different price and range of taxis that you can take. So with safety, I've taken a lower taxi and I felt a little bit unsafe with the driving, not with him trying to kidnap me. So <laughs> so in all, I would definitely say it's, it's so freaking safe. Russia is super clean. It's not like back home, LA, New York, or if you come from a big city like me, there's not trash on the streets. There's not homeless people, barely there's homeless people, maybe one or two and no one in russia is going to physically come up to you grab your arm or anything like that's what i love about it they're super conservative about space and um they don't really like come up to you at all unless they want something like a picture or something and um of course i wanted it's like all countries i want to walk home by myself at like 1 a.m 2 a.m you'll be fine but i just i won't do that after the sun sets at like 10 o'clock I um, won't walk home by myself. So let's move into the last question, the most asked question.
So Russia has honestly been so good to me. I love the country so much because a big part of me leaving the States was that I have experienced so much racism there that I don't experience here. Here, I feel less anxious, if that makes sense, and less, um, I experience, le I'm less anxious and I'm less, like, experience PTSD. And I know that might be extreme for some people, but a lot of black people do experience PTSD with a police brutality and everything that has happened in America that I do not want to go into. So in Russia, I've never been treated less than, I've never been followed around in a store, like I'm going to steal something. I've never been treated um, different from my husband Fedor at a restaurant. Never, ever, ever. I have experienced ignorance in Russia where um, people are only some, it's usually when they're drunk, they get a little cocky and they wanna kinda get in my face. And that was in Altai Krai. And I've made a video about that with Fedor. I'll put the link right here so you can see it because I don't really wanna go into that. That was years ago. That was in 2017 or 2016. Times have changed. Now, since I've been here for three months, living, it's gotten so much better. Um, I do sometimes experience ignorant people, but in Novosibirsk, I haven't had any ignorant people um, try to force themselves on me with questions um, or just treat me less than, like then treat me terrible. It just never happened. Instead, the, the Russian people, you have to understand, when you come to Russia as a black person, they're going to be curious. They're going to want to get to know you because they've never got to talk to a black person maybe or they never got to have a black best friend. So it's almost like, Oh my gosh, this is my only chance to talk to a black girl, only chance to get to know her. And that's how it is most of the time. So it's not racism here at all because they don't come from a history of racism with black people compared to America, uh, uh, UK, United Kingdom, all those other places. So that's why I love it in Russia. But I hope this video was insightful, guys. Please put it in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see on this channel. I'm going to try to start speaking Russian more because my Russian has improved so much. But yes, don't forget to put in the comments what you thought about this video, what you want to see in future videos with me and Fedor if you miss him in today's video. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Пока-пока!